And now we're going to hear about a success story. This is always the best part. <laughs> Lisa Cox, we're going to hear from Lisa Cox, who has been a project graduate advisor at EKU from the very beginning of the program. And Lisa serves as Director of Student Outreach and Transition. Welcome, Lisa. I look forward to your comments. I, I feel so very privileged to be a part of this today. And it's been such a, a long road that we've traveled and we've grown so much as state institutions. I've never been so impressed with the spirit of collaborativeness that our colleagues have shared among each other as we work with our returning adults. It's, it's like it's, it's, um, it's a work that just, it, it inspires you to keep on doing the hard work. I have a special place in my heart for adult students. Although I graduated in four years from the University of Kentucky, I went on to work at the Postal Service for almost 15 years. Didn't really utilize my education, was making decent money, but I had four children at home, and my twins were nine months old, and I said, I can't do this anymore. I want to go back to school and get my master's. And so, in my late 30s, went back to school, went back to school full time, received my master's, and I fell in love with the learning process again, so much that I've made my career at Eastern Kentucky University. And I understand the struggles that are there when you're an adult student and you're trying to manage all of the responsibilities that you have and you want to be there for your family, you want to get it, you want to have a good income, but you also want to partake in the educational experience that's available to you. And what I've learned through these years of working with these students is that there's ways to navigate. And if I can be an advocate to stand by the person and walk them through the entire process, I don't know how many individuals I've had that have been in my office and are like, I, you know, I'm so nervous I think I might cry or, or you know, just frustrated because they, they made mistakes, they made choices in their past. They're following them and they feel like they're insurmountable. But what I want to tell everyone is that through Project Graduate, you have an opportunity to return to school, to remediate if you had poor GPA. There's strategies to use to improve that. If you have problems because you've um, overextended on your financial aid, there's strategies to work to get yourself back in the right place to be able to afford to finance your education. Don't let those kinds of outstanding questions be barriers. And so this has just been such a rewarding experience to be a part of it and to now see it come to the virtual fair and include our colleagues from KCTCS. Uh, in my role, we spend a lot of time working with our transfer students and they, they bring the same types of, of issues that the students who left with 80 or more hours have. You know, trying to fit it in, wondering how things are going to work. The online fair, just to give you a preview, there are virtual booths for each of the institutions and they have links and videos to a variety of different information that would be specific to of interest to these students. Then it also will have a variety of individuals that are available to chat from each institution. So you can engage in the chat either in a public forum or you can go into a private conversation and chat if you prefer to uh, talk about some of your own personal information. I think this is just a fantastic opportunity for us all to share and work together. We don't care which institution you started at. If it's more convenient for you to finish at another institution, we're all collaboratively working at that. We make referrals to each other as part of, we have a list of project graduate advocates and we, we make referrals to each other because fundamentally, if we do what's in the best interest of the student, we all win. So uh, thank you for letting me be here today. And I'd like to call um, one of my, I'll, I'll call him, he's a dear friend now, uh, George Selden to the stage. He, uh, he's recently graduated in December of 2013, and George has a wonderful story to share. Um, he's one of the 205 graduates we've had from Eastern Kentucky University so far.